Now, before I continue uh, with animations and everything like that, I just want to show you uh, one great new feature that I've managed to build into uh, um, this upcoming release is uh, the ability to work with materials and to preview them roughly in Max directly in the viewport. And um, one of the greatest things is that, well, everything is pretty much set up for you. Uh, second of all, the RVMOD. Uh, file is automatically generated and placed in the right folder for you and you don't have to worry about anything and it is done not manually it, will, it is done on export so when you're exporting your p3d file if you just click save materials here it will export and generate all the files that you need so let me show you how this is all done what I'm going to do is I'll open up the material editor uh, I'm going to select all my uh, all my objects here, and I'm going to click on standard, and I'm going to pick Direct X Shader. And just discard all material. Okay, now this is Direct X Shader. Um, the shader here is not right, so I'm going to click here, and I'm going to look for in your installation folder of uh, the Arma toolbox. There's a folder called Shaders. See, Shaders, <coughs> and pick the shader that you want. Right now, I only have the Super Shader ready, uh, but later it will be expanded by uh, Damage Shaders and uh, Glass Shaders, etc., etc. I'm going to select Super Shader. Open. Okay, and this is a custom written shader, uh, which allows you to kind of simulate the Super Shader. It's not as complex as the one uh, this showed on their uh, uh, wiki uh, site, but it does the job, and it, it does it pretty decently. So, about the shader. It's pretty simple. Uh, one thing you have to know is that not all of these features carry on into uh, O2, into the RVMAT file, but I will show you which, will, which do and which don't. Cube map uh, doesn't. Uh, but I advise you to load the cube map from exactly the same folder shaders environment uh, output cube. Okay, that's just for a Fresnel uh, reflection. Show you how that works later. Uh, diffuse, you choose your texture. So your diffuse texture. Ambient shadow is the uh, ambient shadow texture we generated earlier. Diffuse color, you can tweak it, but leave it white. Ambient color, same thing. Uh, these Fresnel um, values do not carry on into the RV map. They will have to be tweaked manually by hand because there is no correspondence to them right now. This is just for preview. Uh, specular color, you can leave it in white. Change it to whatever you want. This will carry on to the RV map. Uh, check our specular map detail map and normal map okay so all our maps have been uh, loaded into these boxes for the lights uh, this this is why the three point light um, creation was done in the first tutorial video just to show you I'm just gonna choose key light here key uh, fill, fill and back back it just will let you preview the shader in the viewport much better. Okay, so now the shader is ready. I'm ready to apply it to my model. And look at that. You can preview it now in the viewport with reflections and everything. When reflections start looking a bit funky, just play around with these values and Or you can switch it off completely if you want to. The reflections this is not not really important. Um, uh, one thing is also if whatever you're doing is still looking like it's having some kind of artifacts, just make sure you're not in orthographic view. Uh, go to 
perspective view and it will look much better. You see some reflections there. So if you're making some kind of uh, aircraft or something with very shiny materials then this is great to see how it will look like with your textures in the end. Just for a preview. Okay, and that's all you have to do for the materials. Obviously everything that has different textures and different RV mod, uh, materials should have a separate shader. Uh, one thing you should remember is also to name it. So I'm going to make it um, BNT101. Uh, That's going to be the name of this uh, material. Uh, if you're going to make a new one, also name it because these names will be uh, used to generate the name of the file and assign it to the model on ex export. Yeah, that's it for the materials. Everything set up here.